Yes, guys. Yes, people. Welcome back to the channel. Big up to every single one of you that's locked in. Hit that like button, subscribe, all of that crap. You guys know exactly what to do as soon as you guys enter into the channel. And yeah, we are here to discuss some breaking news. I said I wanted to do more content just talking about my reactions to football as a whole and the whole footballing world in general. And while I was live with Hooks, shout out to Hooks, by the way. Everybody check out his channel. Everybody sub over there right now. Unbelievable individual. We had a great chat about football, um, following Chelsea, life, all of that. We had a big conversation on his channel, so I'm going to leave the link to that down in the description below. Everybody head over there and show him some love. Big up to Hooks. Appreciate being on the channel. And while we were live, we had this bomber drop. So Pep Guardiola is staying. Pep Guardiola agrees a new one-year contract as Manchester City manager with the option for another 12 months on top of that. The extension commits the 53-year-old to more than a decade at Manchester City, which is absolutely insane. Because I remember back, a, back in a decade ago, this guy would barely stay more than three, four years at a football club. To see him now basically spend an entire decade at one club and just in England as well is utterly ridiculous. Now, I'm going to explain why me as a Chelsea fan, I'm happy to see this. I am very, very happy to see this. But first off, like this was an unbelievable surprise, but it's obviously very good for Manchester City as well. There's a, a ton of reasons bar just keeping Pep Guardiola as a whole that this is a good move for them. Because number one, him staying must mean that there is a lot of confidence that City will beat the charges that are against them. Or at the very least, that City would not go down and be relegated if they fail to beat the charges. But regardless of the situation and whether they keep Pep, I mean, whether they beat the charges or whether they don't beat the charges, it gives City a much needed stability boost over the next two years. Because we know City are changing their sporting director at the end of the season. We also know that there's been a lot of question marks um, over whether Pep's going to stay or not. And with how chaotic the season has been for Manchester City, they need to strengthen in January. Now, you're not really going to get that key number six. You're not going to get that big Kevin De Bruyne replacement when there's all these question marks over who the next manager is going to be. Because who's going to join for Manchester City or for Pep Guardiola to be gone in about six months? You would have joined to work under Pep. You would have joined after speaking to Pep. So now that Pep could potentially be leaving, you're less likely to get those key targets. And we know Manchester City need to go and get that Rodri replacement. Otherwise, defending that league title is looking a little bit sticky for them. I won't front. They also kind of need to sort out their older core as well. Because like, you've got, Kate, you've got Kevin De Bruyne starting to age. Bernardo Silva starting to age. Kyle Walker, we already know. This guy was finished last season, let alone this season. Gundahan's come in, looked a little bit agey and all of that. So they need to phase out this older core. And it's going to be a, a lot easier for them to do that. Now Pep Guardiola staying. Because again, just the allure and the attraction of working under Guardiola is more than enough to attract players. Let alone just the Manchester City unit as a whole. but. Pep Guardiola is so important for that. And he knows that too, which is probably part of the reason why he was willing to stay as well. This man has the perfect setup at Manchester City. Like, these men just have money coming out of literally every whole possible pause. He's the most important person at the club, and whatever he says goes. Manchester City as a fan base, as an organization, as a boardroom, they all follow the orders of one man, and that man is Pep Guardiola. He can get literally whatever player he wants just off the allure of being Pep Guardiola and his record and his CV and how much he's improved players. And if he finds out a player don't suit him, off your pop, I'm going to go get another one. So it suits them perfectly. It suits him perfectly to stay as well. The only bigger question would be just more of a family thing. Do the family want to move back to Spain or do they want to try something different or not? But clearly, that's not the case. 
So City have a massive transitional season or year or two ahead of them. And keeping Pep Guardiola is massive to trying to make that transitional period as smooth as possible. So this is a massive strength for them as an institution. Now, in terms of all the rivals, rivals are going to be fuming. Arsenal will be going into process overload. Liverpool, I mean, they're calm on the slot, but like these men know not to underestimate Pep Guardiola. They've had enough title races not to do that. As a Chelsea fan, which was the main topic of this video, I'm happy with this. And obviously, like one of the main reasons is like we're not in a title race. He can go and stop Liverpool from winning the league. Arsenal will stop themselves winning the league, but it will be good to see that that pet problem won't be an issue. But as a Chelsea fan, I want to be the one to end the pep era. I want our club to be the one to end the pep era. I don't want there to be any excuse or you only won the league because Pep's not there. And I know people are going to say Chelsea fan talking about title race. I'm not talking about for this season, but the project is there to take Chelsea back to where they were before, which was competing and winning league titles. And I don't want there to be the excuse that we only won it because Pep finally left. No, I want Pep to leave England the same way he entered England, which is by losing a league title to the gargantuan Chelsea. And we are on the right road and the right trajectory to get back to where we should be, which is, again, competing for those league titles. So, no excuses, no question marks. Pep, you stay right here because I've been waiting so long for a Blue Brother title race. I have been waiting ages for us to finally have a serious title race because we haven't had one since 1415. And even 1415, City gave us a good fight, but they never took us off top spot. We were top, we were first in the table for I think every single match day. But I think maybe match day two. I think Tottenham were top on match day two. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong. I'm sure they bopped QPR off the park or something like that. Or I might be bugging. I don't know. But regardless, we have not had a proper title race. These men have had to deal with these pretenders up in North London, Liverpool and the whole buddy-buddy title race. Oh, you're such a good team. You're such a good team. No, we need the Blue Brothers to turn into the Blue Rivals. And that's what I'm looking forward to. Because as long as we continue on our trajectory, that is where we should be next season and ideally the season afterwards as well. So... I want to be the one to end the Pep era. And I'm glad he's staying because of that. Guys, in the chat, let me know all your thoughts down in the comment section below. Big up to every single one of you that's locked in. Let me know if you're happy with this news. Let me know if you're annoyed about this news. If you're in the middle, let us know. And yeah, big up everybody. Like, subscribe, up the Chelsea, bun Arsenal, bun Pochettino, and we are out.